Fridays are always my favourite day um, of the week. Um, so yeah, welcome to the vlog. Hello, I've got my darling son next to me giving me smiles and having a little look. Um, so there was no vlog last week, like fitness vlog. So I wanna, I think I'm just gonna incorporate my two vlogs like together. I don't, I can't keep up with doing like separate like fitness vlogs and my normal vlogs. So I just wanted to like, incorporate it all together. And if you want to, um, if you're on my fitness page and you want to follow me, I'm on my um, like makeup and vlog page. Um, this here is where you can see that um and then vice versa if you're on my makeup page and you want to see more of my fitness one well, you can see that here um so last week um i had my wisdom teeth out that vlog should already be up before this vlog goes up um so you guys can like basically know that is the reason why i didn't work out last week and i've just been like recuperating yes bubby so i'm just recuperating um going through Yes, my darling. What can I do for you? We're just currently having um, some lunch. Well, he's having lunch. I'm having, like, brunch. Um, because I'm trying to just, like, eat in the afternoons. You're really making a lot of noise for somebody who can see that I'm filming. Um, yeah, so that's what's going to happen. Um, I was supposed to work out this morning. I've come back from a week off from work with mad emails, lots and lots of things to action. So I don't know when I'm going to be able to work out today. I've got my gym gear on. So if I can, oh, okay, darling. If I can find a section in my day to work out, then I will. What's the matter? Well, someone doesn't want me to be great this morning. Um, let me just sort him out and I'll come back and chat to you guys. So quickly before I demolish this, I have made um, an omelette, cheese, spring onions, mushrooms and ham. And then also I've got some chicken frankfurters and some creamy coleslaw. That's um, brunch for today. Hi guys. So is it the same day? Is it still Monday? Ask myself that question. No, no, it is not still Monday. And yes, hot. You see? Kids will, mm -hmm. okay, so it's not Monday, it is now the next day, it's Tuesday, and um, I didn't work out yesterday, hence why I'm in this same outfit, because I didn't work out yesterday, didn't get around to it, work was absolutely mental, it's still mental today, I need to get back to work, um, but I need to come and say hi, and tell you what happened, so I didn't work out yesterday, work was mental, so today I worked out, I did day 19, Sydney Cummings, upper body sculpt didn't really like it wasn't really feeling it and i um upper body workouts are one of my favorite workouts didn't feel it today i don't know why i don't know if it's because of the moves or what but i just was not feeling it and um i don't know i feel like i need to switch it up and change it up but i know that strength training is the way that i need to go so i need to work out what i need to do um but yeah anyways last week i was i was binge watching some youtube videos and the girl that I was watching, she was, she's like a flexitarian, I think she calls it. So she recommended these Linda McCartney vegetarian red onion and rosemary sausages. So I thought, you know what? Excuse me, no. I thought, why not? Um, let's just try it. Like, it can't be that bad. So I thought I cooked them. Why don't I taste them with you on the vlog? So... This is what they look like. They don't look very appetizing, I'm not gonna lie. So this is what they look like. Not very appetizing. Um, so I've just, I thought I'd like have a sausage bat. So I've made myself a toasted bat. Are you really doing that right now? Stop it. Have kids, they said. It'd be fun, they said. <laughs> this one is driving me up the wall. So they smell nice. It actually smells like, I can't put my finger on it. What's that smell? Yeah. They don't taste that bad. They don't actually taste that bad. So let's put them in my, let's see what, actually, let's give some to the baby at CPA. I don't know. Bro? Okay. Wanna try some of this? 
Mm. Nice. Yep, you just spat it out. <laughs> Nah, you just spat that out onto the floor. <laughs> oh, you give it a second go. Okay, you picked it up. I don't know what that tasted. Oh, that's there. Sage and onion. That's the smell. That's what it smells like. You know the um, stuffing that you'd have like at Christmas and stuff? That's what it smells like. That's what it tastes like. I don't like stuffing. This isn't too bad. I'm not actually bad. I'm going to put some ketchup on it. Or should I just put some coleslaw in this? Ooh, I'm going to put some coleslaw in it. So, this is my coleslaw of choice. This is dreamy, dreamy. I swear, I need to put my teeth back in my mouth. <laughs> I was speaking to someone today um, at work, and that's what they said. I need to put my teeth back in. <laughs> All right, so this is creamy coleslaw from Little, Lidl, 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 however you say it, I say Little. Nice. Yeah, well this is what I'm gonna have. Literally just a simple back coleslaw in it. It's hot, stop. He's actually testing my patience right now. He really is. Okay. All right. Let's give it all a go. In one. In one. Mmm. Yeah. I like it. So these were like one pound sixty nine from Lidl. I'm gonna try, they've got this um, mozzarella burger, so I'm gonna try, I mean, um, yeah, mozzarella burger, so I'm gonna get those actually and try those as well with this. I'll give that a thumbs up. I'm not mad at that. And I don't wanna be eating so much pork, so that works for me. That actually works really nice, so. Do you wanna try some more? lovely right so i worked out i'm gonna go back to work now because i've got so i've got tons of work i've got tons of work. i've literally got tons of work to do and not enough hours in the day to do it obviously i had last week off to have my teeth out um but i haven't had a week off and then come back into work obviously since before on maternity leave um so i just feel i I feel overwhelmed. I feel like I'm chasing my towel. I feel like I'm trying to make content. I'm trying to be a mum, be a wife, be an employee. And I feel like I'm failing at it all, to be perfectly honest. Um, if I'm if I'm being perfectly honest with myself, I don't know how I'm doing it all. And um, yeah, and there's just a lot going on at the moment. There's just too much going on. I need everything to just slow down. <laughs> slow down. And um, yeah, it's, just, it's gonna be one of those weeks I can feel it. It's only Tuesday and I can feel like already that it's gonna be one of those weeks that I'm gonna wait until Thursday. So I'm actually didn't realize that I booked Friday off already. So well done me. And um, so Thursday, I've just got to get to Thursday and I'll be fine. And then we'll start again next week because I'm already chasing my towel. But we'll get it back. By Thursday, I'll have everything back under commission, back under plan. Yeah, let me get back to work. <laughs> let me go do that. Bye. Hello, hello. So I am just in the car going to do the school run. But I got ready today. I thought, well, I'm taking Wednesdays off now with my working out. I've decided that I'm going to go back to my old routine. Um, but I'm going to try and just do Monday, Tuesdays. <laughs> Thursday and Fridays and have the weekends off but look at me this is literally just concealer on my face my skin is getting so good I had this dark mark here for the skincare I've been using Ren skincare and it's going down so so nicely I think I'm going to do a whole everyday makeup routine a skincare routine a pamper day and do all of those kind of videos coming up just to reintroduce 
myself. My hair be popping. Oh my god, this is the first time in ages that I've gone out without a headband. I got my undercut re cut. Nobody cares about that. Um, but it's now nice and low again. So we've got this. My hair is growing so much. I need to go um to the hairdressers. But I'm all dressed. I'm so casual today. I really need to start getting out of my good good clothes and start um doing some outfits like i've just been hibernating so much but i just wanted to show my face because i can't be looking dead on these vlogs every single day and having my four chunky plaits in but i'm ready today so then we go do the school run <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hello, hello, hi. Welcome, welcome. I have not vlogged in weeks. Like, I have just not. No, I don't. Um, thank you. So, I, I literally haven't vlogged in literal weeks. Um, let me get my whole face in this um so yeah i haven't vlogged in a few weeks um just not been really feeling it um and well, actually that's a lie i have been so so busy um when i say i've been busy i have been doing work childcare, everything and i feel like i'm failing at everything <laughs> so i'm literally just getting through the day at the moment um last week i had um Ooh reception year bubble closed um so i had nova at home with homeschooling last week and then so i got that email on saturday or sunday to tell me that and then on monday afternoon i got an email from um roman's uh nursery to tell me that baby class has also been cancelled that week so it was <laughs> <laughs> it was fun um so yeah i had all of that going on and everything has just been a lot it's like work school run look after the kids cook dinner clean the house do this and i feel like i'm i need to clone myself um i want to do so many things like i've got so many ideas that i want to film for um my channel and for my vlogging and i just can't get all the time so um today i'm gonna go obviously i'm going to go do the school run so i thought why not get ready for the school run um so i'm just getting myself together um but let me catch you up i don't know where we left off um but the i went and saw fast and furious with my sister and um, we went to the o2 in greenwich and um, we always go and see um, fast and furious when it opens um because it's just one of our favorite franchises and we went and saw it via um d box um but i've got a review and everything so i'll I'll insert that here. Just taking a video, darling. Just a video. They're just out in the O2. I'm with my sister. Hi! Say hi. She's hiding. So we just had some food, went to Five Guys, took some pictures here and down there because they've got some really good Instagrammable spots. And now we're going to go to the cinema. I'm going to watch Fast and the Furious 9. Out so excited um so yeah that's it i just want you to look at the stairs such a good spot hello we can see you so yeah now we're off to cine world all right so hiya <laughs> we're off to cine world we're going to watch fast night we can't decide whether we want ice cream because we've eaten already so we don't know if we want ice cream or what so we're gonna go I'm gonna go check it out and see. Catch you upstairs. Look at me do. Yay! I'm gonna do this so. Look, it's underneath. Four DX. Lego C Fast Nine. <laughs> Could we have come here? Are you kidding me? So they've got people here. Here we go, baby. Hello, hello. 
so we literally just finished the i say we literally just finished the movie i just um waved so off um to the station and we're about to drive home but i just want to say like 4dx like we've gone to see so we it's called 4dx but when we first discovered them they were called d-box seats and they were really when i tell you they were really really fun um i've just realized that i'm still in the car park and maybe i should do this when i get home because i've just validated my parking and i had to pay six pounds for 40 minutes imagine um because you get free parking i'm going to come back actually and i will do um my review um of fast nine let's drive let me just drive home so, <laughs> review of fast nine i am going to be biased about this always because like fast nine is really close to my heart because i've literally i've loved it for a long long time i love I, i'm into cars and all of that um but i just love like the theory behind the movie like the family orientated okay some of the things are so far-fetched that they do is mad i'm not going to give any any spoilers for the movie if anybody wants to go and see it but i would recommend going and seeing it and you have to have a cinematic experience um so we went and saw it um in cine world um 4dx and um it used to be called d-box seats but they've obviously upgraded it and everything and they've made their like their vip kind of section and um this is in the o2 that we went and saw it and um it was really really good so when we originally went and saw d-box in d c c <laughs> i can't even talk when we originally used to go and see fast nine with d-box seats it used to be individual seats and this time it was actually like a row of four seats um and they all moved and everything um and there was like wind fo not fire like rain and stuff like that you should be able to feel all of that there is a button where you can switch off if you don't want those features but when you go for d-box you want everything there was a part where they were shooting guns and the strobe lighting all came on so it was a very cinematic experience but i definitely it's one of those movies that i'm gonna have to go and watch again and i will watch again because i just love fast nine and that's just that's just life isn't it um yeah, I would definitely recommend going to the cinema. I didn't wear my mask um, during the movie because I had ice cream and I had a lot of ice cream. So it lasted me the whole movie so I didn't have to wear my mask. Um, and to be fair, they didn't check um, for masks and stuff. Um, but obviously in this COVID land, um, make sure you're wearing your masks and all of that. But other than that, i say it was a really good movie. I would recommend if you're going to see it, go sit a little bit further up. We sat um row c so we were quite near the front and we haven't had any problems before but i felt i just felt like the screen was just too close to me and i needed like my eyes to be like a little bit further up so that's the only thing i would say but i would definitely say um go and see it the o2 is really upgraded like we i got a lot of um pictures um they've got really like no they got like a stairway and stuff like that that i've shown in the previous clip um so it was really nice and they've opened up like the whole outlet and stuff um and they've got this whole like selfie rooms that you can go in but for 18 pounds and like 14 pounds like i don't know if it's worth it we didn't pay to go in there because um we was going to watch the movie anyways um but yeah other than that my short review i would give that if i take out all the far-fetchedness and things that people would literally die from i would give it an eight out of ten um i love the, the story that they create behind everything i love how they've tied everything together i can see that it's definitely going to be the last five um fast movie um only because they tied up a lot of loose ends and we saw a lot of characters from previous um movies so i definitely think that's going to be the last one um so now i need to go and find myself a new franchise new series that i'm going to go and watch 4dx um i definitely think a horror movie would be sick there was a lot of movement going on so i'm gonna go in um i just got home i'm gonna go in probably put the baby to bed because he definitely aren't gonna sleep without me um but yeah i'll catch you later um yeah so that happened um then a few days and stuff passed and whatnot um i was supposed to go and see the receipts podcast live but they cancelled my ticket and because i was being brave and i was going on my own um they wouldn't let me rebook it basically because you have to book it in seats of two but i was trying to be like if i want to go and do something i want to go do it like whether regardless if there's someone coming with me or not um so that got cancelled so instead i went to um my nephew's birthday party and that was just um the week can just pass it was so so much fun um all the family was there it was really really nice i've got myself all dressed up i was kid free i was car free so i got turned 
um really really good really good night that was really good i love spending time with my family um, and yeah just normal life has just been happening i've been getting some deliveries because you know i like to order things for myself um so yeah there's some pictures and stuff from the birthday party here Um, so yeah, so those are kind of a couple of things that um, have been happening other than just normal life. So, just going to finish getting ready. I'm going to do my hair. I feel like I'm going to do a low bun today. Um, so I'm just going to slick that down. Right, so I've been ordering some new like makeup to try out. Um, I'm quite liking e.l.f. I bought, I've used e.l.f.'s products before and I quite like them. Yeah um so i decided to try their putty bronzer i haven't actually tried it yet so um i'm gonna i'll let you know how that goes so i got myself the shade bronzed bell and it looks like really like cool in the packaging but it actually is very warm when you open it up, so let me show you. So it's actually like really, really nice. And it says it goes from cream to powder. So I'm interested to see how that goes. Um, I really like um, Elf's Putty Blush. So this is the one that I normally use. This is Fiji. Um, so I decided to try another shade. So I'm going to try Tahiti. Um, so I got those to try. Like really, really nice. So this is the contract. I wanted something more pinky and this is a little bit more like corally, orangey, reddy, all of that stuff. Um, so the Putty Blush and the Bronzer are exactly the same size i think they cost the same as well um so yeah i'm looking forward to trying those products um so always with my concealer so to spot conceal i use the elf camo concealer in rich chocolate rich chocolate yeah and that's the one i use to spot conceal um but um i thought i would try the hydrating one to conceal I thought I would try the hydrating camo concealer. I don't I don't like this. And um, this isn't this isn't for me. Um I don't know why it just kept separating under my eyes and it's just um yeah, every time I did my makeup with this and I would look in my at my face during the day, I'd be like, nah, I don't like it. So I swapped that one out and I went and got the 16 hour camo in the exact same shade, so in deep caramel. Um and this looks really nicely. I've got that on today and it sits really nicely and it doesn't look like i'm cracking so the colors are not too bad this one is a little bit darker this looks really really light but it blends really really nicely into your skin so i think i'll just probably use this like when i want a bright highlight um bright eyeshadow so that um it don't go to waste we don't waste product over here um, so yeah, so those are a couple of new makeup products that I want to try out. So let's put this stuff away. It's tidy as we go, eh? Um, and I used to have um, a glossy box subscription, but I decided to cancel it. It was so repetitive. The products weren't even that great. Um, and I joined this um, beauty subscription box um, group on Facebook. Yeah, some of us still use Facebook. Um so i and they recommended a uh, rocker box so i've had one of the rocker boxes before um it's exactly the same cost you get um five to six products and it's just like a variety so i decided to get one of their boxes which had really really good stuff in it um so it's similar to glossy box so this is rocker boxes this is glossy boxes box both pink this one's just a little bit nicer this one is you can keep those ones i'd say but i would throw this away um so it comes with its little 
arm heat with this little pamphlet and then I, I hate all this stuff but good job it's paper so it's recyclable and this is the reason what well, okay this is one of the reasons I've always wanted to try nip fab um so I got their vitamin c fix cleanser and this I'm looking forward to trying another one of the reasons why I got this box is because I wanted to try this this is the liner lash from allure um so it's a two-in-one adhesive liner so it's like you do your wing eyeliner and then you just pop your lashes on so i wanted to try it but on the reviews were so off on um boots i didn't know whether it was good or not um so i got that as well and what was, was there another reason why i got this no those are the two reasons um i wanted to get this and then i also why are you eating that let's just pretend that didn't happen um and then got this eyeliner i thought it looked like cat one d because of the like the writing um but it isn't it's just um i don't know where it's i don't know what company it's from and this is just liquid eyeliner then we've got this like mocha matte mac mini oh my god it's so cute so cute color really probably isn't for me but i could give it a go actually i might wear it today see what's just like um and then this is a good one a sample this is a smashbox primer so that'd be good to try and then also Ooh, thank you my darling thank you we put them here and then just um some oh, yeah. spf which i'm running out of so i had to order some but luckily i've got this one so hey 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 no 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 see kids terrorists don't pull that <laughs> Okay. um and then the other day um they had a mystery box so i thought oh it's a fiver it was on sale for a fiver so i thought oh these boxes normally 10 pounds no because you're a paper eater and um, they're normally 10 pounds um and then including your postage which i think that that for that that lash line alone is um 10 pounds i don't even know how much that nip fab cleanser is um so you've got your money's worth um i was a bit underwhelmed by the mystery box um when it came this came in yesterday i got the sheer bliss skin sugar scrub it does smell amazing though it smells really really nice <laughs> And then I've seen this. This seems to be really popular. I don't know why. This is the Balance Me Collagen Boost Moisturiser. So I'm definitely going to give that a go because my moisturiser is nearly um, running out. Um, shower Milk from Crabtree and Evelyn. Just standard. Um, then this is from An Anatomicals. Silly Twists Ignore Their Mitts Mint Hand Cream there's a lot or something that's so simple and then oh. this is fabulous so this is from vita liberata and this is their self tan and gradual mm -hmm. lotion probably not something i'm going to use but i, I could use it maybe i see your eyes i see your eyes they're on it you can't have that because you like to eat everything he's grown so much taller so he can literally reach everything you just gotta keep everything out of his eyesight and his eyes give everything away like you see what he wants and what he's gonna go for so you gotta get in there all right let's put some earrings on and we're gonna go with some big earrings today this is my look for today nice and simple i don't have a lip on this is my lip oil i've got on but I haven't worn a low type one in ages. Right, so that's new products that I've got things to try out. So glossy box is no more here. Um and I think I will just get like one off boxes and um, when I see it on that um group if they've got like good things. Because what's good with Rockabox, you can see what's in the box before you even order it. Whereas other places, like it's a guess, like you don't know what you're gonna get, it's a surprise. Um, so final thing, I've been collecting this basket full of things that I have used. So I thought I'd just take you through some of them that I, I've liked and well what i did and didn't like um this was the dr craft bio back oil and rose hip facial oil loved this i got this in another rocker box um really really good i have now 
I've literally got the tiniest bit left, but it did make my skin look so glowy and so nice. So I might actually include an oil um, in my routine again. Um, what else to say? So eye cream. One of the reasons why I've stopped getting glossy bots is because they give me so much eye cream. Um, so I'm actually, what is this? Give me this. Oh my days. You are not funny. No. You're not funny. Um, so they gave us loads of eye cream. Like literally, I think there was a there was like three months where we literally got an eye cream every single month. And it's like, how much eye cream do you think one person can use? But anyways, use this. I quite like using eye cream. I think it's really nice. It's would I buy eye cream? I don't know i don't think i would i think everything else is it works fine this was okay um i've got another one at the moment which i'm using that i got from another glossy box which is the anti the antioxidant eye contour cream hyaluronic acid coffee lemon and apple extracts and um, they're all very different the consistencies are all very different so i'm not really fussed about eye cream but yeah this lip oil this is what I've got on at the moment. This is the Oui Chéri. Taking it to a French company. Lip oil. Really, really nice. You can see I've used loads. I literally use this every single day. Um, to moisturise me. I love a lip oil. So this, great. What else did I get? That skincare. That's it. Oh, no. This, this I finished a little while ago. This is the Ola Helm Crimson. This is the Ola Helmixen, um Sea Rush, tr sorry, Truth Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. I loved this. This is really, really nice. I got gifted this um, as a present for when I went on maternity leave. Absolutely loved that. Um, this was the super hydrating elf moisturizer it's like a gel so you put your finger in it put it on your face and then it would literally just go back to like it will like form back where the hole was and um, so it's quite an interesting formula i didn't really like this and um, this is not something i would buy again so that's that so two moist out of these two moisturizers i definitely would repurchase this this is actually the gift size like the mini size so it's not actually the true size of it but definitely buy this again um again this was the super tone from elf this is a toner with brightening fruit acid i actually liked this and um, it was really nice i only used it at night because it's more of an exfoliant and that's what it said to do um would i buy this again probably but i currently use the ren this one's empty don't worry get a re -amp. um of the ren aha re sorry ready steady glow daily aha tonic love this um really love this so if i was gonna get a toner i'm definitely purchasing this and i'm on my third or fourth one now really really love this so like the way it brightens my skin evens out my skin tone like i had a spot like here you cannot i've got makeup on but even when i haven't got makeup on it's faded so quickly nicely and then i had some like hyperpigmentation here and i used this consecutively consistently he's licking the mirror on the wardrobe ah! basically he's kissing himself <laughs> um yeah so this definitely 100 percent up there then just some makeup stuff as well um i've been trying the laminate brow from makeup revolution where is it um I don't know um but that's what i've got on my eyebrows at the moment i like this i don't think the laminate brow thing does anything glorious i would have loved it to be a little bit more like the soap brow i think that's what it was trying to go for but the soap brow just sticks the hair like to my face like it doesn't move um and then i've got this in medium brown so it's much lighter so i just do the front of my eyebrow with this and then i go in with the benefit uh goof proof brow Ugh, i can't even talk today goof proof brow pencil from benefit that's what i used at the tail end and then we just conceal that bad boy up 
Um, then I've got a new lipstick. This is the Latte lipstick from Revolution. Oh, it's matte. It is stunning. I love this. Actually, I might use that today. No, I said I was gonna try a color. We're gonna go. We're gonna do color because I've gone very plain. Nothing on the eyes and stuff. Um, so that's really nice. I love it. Loving the nudie coffee like tones to that's really nice. Um, this is my new favorite palette. So this is a Wild Child palette from ColourPop. Look at these colors. Really, really nice. I use this color on uh well the shimmer on saturday and i didn't like how the makeup came out i really think that matte is what works for me now like matte on the eye glossy on the lips when i used to be the other way around i used to wear shimmer all the time but i'm definitely more matte i didn't like how it came out but it did look it did look okay um i'll insert a picture of what it looks like i didn't like it but yeah each to my own on that and then just a hair care um i tried this tresemme um keratin smooth oil um it was okay nothing really to shout home about um why did i get it i think i got it because it was on deal in boots or something like that um so yeah so those are some of my empties that i've been using i've been trying to use things up i do not want to like just keep on buying stuff for the sake of buying stuff oh let me put one to bright so i'm not really a perfume person i rarely wear i rarely wear um perfume but i saw this in a little can you believe it in a little and this smell is delicious i couldn't tell you like undertones notes or anything but really really nice and then i got this one so this is more of like a musky tone this is more of a sweet vanilla tone so like this can be a day and this can be a night um five pounds and they smell gorgeous they don't last for very long because it's an I think it's a old yeah it's an older puff them um so it doesn't last very long but mm, smells delicious and for five pounds you really you get what you pay for um so yeah that's everything so far as well i'm gonna try and vlog and keep up with everything that's going on because i really just want to like i like making my videos i want to be creative i want to do different things i don't just want to do the same thing over and over again i'm very like i'm back in the swing of things with work and i just need to like keep myself together um but i'm getting there slowly but surely i want to go get my nails done i found a new place to go to um which i think is gonna work it's gonna be a good fit for me and so yeah i'm looking forward to trying that out. i'm gonna take nova with us and we're gonna have like a little girls day so i'll probably film that um yeah let's put this lip on and see if it actually does look good yeah i really want to film like my everyday makeup it is so easy so simple so quick so i'm gonna raw doggy this without any lip liner <laughs> let's see <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling, I'm gonna feed you. Right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I think I'm gonna put a lip liner on so I can find one. too bad you know don't even play me up i might put some gloss on because you know why not Let's put shimmery gloss on yeah that works that's nice Alright, Mac, go off. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'll catch up with you peoples later. <laughs>